Hi everyone, you alright? Uh, it's Alan here once again on a Sunday. Yeah, things are well pretty loud at the moment. Dave, pause. Um, I've got a moment. Um, yeah, I'll just turn that down. And uh, how are you, lot? Uh, Secret Blackman did a. Yeah. Secret Blackman did a. Did a, a really good walk round again. Yeah, does some good stuff, and I mean good stuff. Um, yeah. Well, didn't go out today. Well, I was gonna go out today, but uh, things changed. I ended up looking after cats. Um, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow, Monday, we should have a video. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff I've been saying in my videos uh, is happening, and I mean it's happening. And, uh, as I said, some of my friends are being locked out of their accounts. And it's not a good situation at all. And uh, my mate Gavin... Um, well, I said to him, I said to him, uh, did you do that, um, cash back? Yeah, he said, but they'd only let me, uh, one shop would only let me do about 50 quid. And uh, I said, well, what you do? You go into another shop and do the same again elsewhere at each, each shop you go to and uh, they have to pay it. They definitely have to pay it. Um... And a lot of my friends are taking my advice and asking banks questions um, about the bank and everything and have they heard anything different about um, keeping the branch open or not. Because... Uh, no, uh, when I went to, where did I go? I went to a cooperative bank at Preston. And when I went in, right, there were two cashiers on, two. That was it. As I know of, the whole of the rest, of, all of the rest of the bank was empty. Literally, empty. Um, that was it. Just those two persons in there. There might have been more people in there, upstairs, but uh, I couldn't really see. I couldn't really fathom out if there were any more people there. But if they only have two people there and they get a rush of customers, what do they do? Do they ask the people from upstairs to come down? They most probably do. Yeah, this is the thing you've got to think about, uh, folks. When you do open an account somewhere else, is that place under, fr is that place under threat? Because... Um, 
in a lot of cases, you open an account somewhere and you put a, a, quite a hefty sum in there and all of a sudden the branch closes without warning and that's a situation you don't want to be in because that's the reason why you opened the account in the first place but it's like what I said in one of my one of my videos a, you know a lot of banks were going by 2025 people think I'm joking I'm not I'm not joking at all and uh yeah, it's a thing you don't really want to contemplate, you know. The only thing you, uh, would happen is that, you know, if you have a current account, you have, you know, stuff going into it. And... Uh, that's that and uh, one thing leads to, leads to another but one of the things you have to look out for is f that some banks are groups yeah some banks are groups like take take HSBC. Well, they have they have a another bank called First Direct. It's a subsidiary of HSBC. But you know, some banks lie, and they say no, we're not a part of them. But. They have links between each other. Be, be wary of this. Because what will happen is if a group decides to close one brand of their group, take Royal Bank of Scotland even, Right, the UK branches of the Royal Bank of Scotland have been rolled into NatWest. Yes, they've been rolled into NatWest. I went past the main offices uh, a bit back on. In Manchester, gone, gone, and it, and that's a big building. That is an absolute big, massive building. You know what they went and did? They merged it with Nat West. So Nat West now have one of the biggest buildings in Manchester now. Because they've, um, uh, you know, they've got uh, Royal, Royal Bank of Scotland as part of them, and NatWest is seventy five percent government owned. Yeah, government owned. Believe it or not, so. Be warned, folks, if you do go to join another bank, move to another bank, make sure it's not a part of a group of banks because that could basically have a bit of a domino effect 
Um, yeah, so be careful of that. Yep. It's been pretty quiet today, cat wise. Um, the cats have been here a few times. And uh, just waiting to see what happens. Yep. And today has been quite a warm day. And they're saying it's going to be warm tomorrow. Um, Blackpool has been quite busy. The promenade's been quite busy. With uh, holiday makers. We had an incident at the railway station, uh, Blackpool North. There was um, a suspicious pa package left on the platform. Bomb disposal teams were called. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see what happen what what happens about that. The Blackpool Central car park. The new one uh, is going up slowly but surely. The work crews are taking their time in, in doing that because the building work in Blackpool is scattered all over the place. Um, they're trying to find a new tenant for Debenhams you know, the Debenhams building. Um, yeah. So, it's been quite busy there on the promenade and uh, round by Blackpool North Railway Station. Yeah, we'll just have to see how things go tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So it's bye for me for now. Three, two, one, click.